la la YouTube and ho 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 it is Christmas time and I am Domino and welcome to episode 67 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode we struggled our way through the first half of Mount Lanakila. If you do want to check that out click the icon up at the top of the screen. Oh it's attacking me again. In today's episode um, we're going to be making it through the rest of Mount Lanakila and if there is a rival battle we will get through that, so we're ready to take on the Elite Four starting in the next episode, I do believe. So if you're excited for this episode and you want to show your support, make sure to hit the like button down below and do subscribe if you're new if you want to be a part of the domination of the Pokemon community. We can start with a quick team recap. We did a full team recap in the last episode, but we have Fruit Punch, our new Sneasel, Frisco the Oracorio, Buttons the Decidueye, Oblivion the Kamo'o, Arukenimon the Araquanid, and Brock the Alolan Golem. That's what we're rocking out with right now. It is not nighttime. Cool. I was not expecting this, obviously. I thought this was part two of Mount Lanakila. Can I catch him? The Krasma has fallen to the ground, weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z power ring with Necrozma? Yes. Are you level 65? Oh, Photon Geyser doesn't affect me. <clears throat> Don't crit, please. Imagine if this thing stays in the first ball that I throw. That has to be scripted. That has to be scripted. That has to be a scripted catch. That has to be a scripted catch. I had absolutely no idea that we caught this guy here. Light is the source of its energy. If it isn't devouring light, impurities build up in it and on it, and Necrozma darkens and stops moving. What do you name a Necrozma? No, I'm not gonna Just send it to a box. It's level 65. Ultra Necronium Z. <clears throat> what was his voice? Splendid. It's been a while, Domino. You must be a formidable trainer indeed if you were able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Good. And this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control Necrozma. But I improved it to my own liking. And now it is a device that makes it possible to draw out even more power from the Cosma. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for the Cosma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Sol Galea. This is the Colrish machine number 1198, officially dubbed the End Solarizer. Okay. In addition, this is the Colrish machine number 1199, officially dubbed the N Lunarizer. Makes it possible for Necrozma to be used with the legendary Pokemon Lunala.
Yes, I've heard in fact that you first met Lunala. No, it's pre evolved Cosmog upon Mahalo Trail. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both legendary, both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon Fusion myself, but that is a different tale. Good luck in your battles. <laughs> so I want to know how many people. I did not realize how big of a cliffhanger I was leaving people on. Because I was under the impression that that was only the first half. I had no idea that the Necrozma was... That was only the first half. And I'm still convinced that had to have been a scripted capture like that. And I mean, obviously, like, you're supposed to catch it. Because it has, like, all the Necronium Zs and all the things that are Ultra Necronium Zs and... Oh, man. Anyway, let's... Oh, I should have healed. Darn it! Alright. Let's go ahead and... Take this woman on. She has an Emolga. I'm not too concerned about any Emolga. I'm gonna use Ice Shard. I wish I could evolve, but it'll be okay to use our mascot for a, f a few episodes. We need Avalanche? No, we need Icicle Crash. That's what I meant to say. We need Icicle Crash. Is that going to make it faster than me? Nope. You will not be faster than my Sneasel. Who's my Sneasel? My Sneasel does not get outsped. I'm going to assume that up is the way we need to go. So let's check and see what's... There we go. Let's check and see what's not up. Like, let's see what's all the way down here. A Glalie! That's exciting. That's super exciting. Anyway, I really have no idea when these episodes are going to go up. I feel like I have a plan through episode 60, and then I haven't decided. Break in the fo- Okay, who could use Ice Beam? Oh. Who could use- oh my gosh, why? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> who could use Ice Beam? Well, I mean, obviously. What do I have? Leech Life. Scald, Poison Jab, and Crunch? I don't think I want Weavile to have it. Weavile's not a special attacker per se. I think there's just an item down this way. I don't think there's too much else. Eh. Also, I ran into a couple female Sneasels, and my Sneasel, my mascot, it's just not female. There's nothing wrong with female Sneasel. I'm sure female Sneasel is a great Pokemon. But that's just not my mascot. My mascot is the male Sneasel. Because he's my boy. I can't say my boy if it's a girl. Alright, you have two... You have two... Uh, oh, gosh. That's actually like... I guess it's not scary. But, like, it's kind of scary. Okay, Sneasel just obliterated a Florgus. What? Also, what does this guy do? Like, he's just now... He's stranded with a Pokemon that's knocked out. There better be the item of all items out here. This not, is this the way I was supposed to go? Also, you can find a Lone Sandshrew. I knew there was something else that you could find. And I knew it wasn't Drampa. But it was definitely a Lone Sandshrew. Who I had thought about adding to the team until the Razor Claw came up. A PP Max. Okay, there's surely other, something else. No, surely there's something. Surely the Pokemon Company didn't make me 
maybe this guy gives me like TM win the game. Is that the name of the move? It's called win the game. Catch all Pokemon. All Pokemon shiny. Is that is that is that the name of the TM he's gonna give when I win this? Really strong. Now my question to you is, what do you do when I send in this guy? Because I could switch in our Kenimon, but it's a rock type, so a rock move would obliterate me. Do I assume he has sturdy? I mean, I'm, what am I going to be able to do? He has sturdy. Gosh darn it. Don't hit your stone edge. Don't hit your stone edge. He is. Well, I guess, I mean, we're training up our new members, so. Also, I'm curious, if, is this super effective? This is not very effective. This is a neutral effect. I guess it's neutral effect. Alright, so he's gonna give me the TM all Pokemon shiny, right? Okay. He did not give me update, he did not give me the TM for all Pokemon shiny. I was really expecting him to do something because he doesn't even heal me. A little upset that I came all the way this way. I can't I can't sit here and lie. A little upset. A little upset. It's a pretty long run. Now I'm going to be running into more Pokemon because I'm traveling faster. You know, supposedly you're not supposed to run into quite as many Pokemon when you're on top of a ride Pokemon. But you do because you're running, you're traveling further. Well, I guess you can't argue with what I just did. Just having Z blah 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 blah. Speaking of Z powers, I'm pretty sure the layout shows that we have one Z crystal remaining. That's a fire type. In case you're curious, Hyrule is a fire type. Now. I want to see the damage that this does. Hyper Void. That actually a whole lot. Scald is also going to do a whole lot. Arukenimon, he hacks Goddess herself. I mean, she's literally earned this name. The V hacks Goddess. Okay, that didn't do so much. That's good. It's good to know that I can switch in on a fire move. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Wait all. I'll stay in. Because I know I'm hurting, but I also know that this will do a decent amount. I think we live. Yeah, okay. Super effective. Oh, we'll delete him. Okay. Good job. Hex goddess. Jeez. Yeah, we've got to use our Kenny Mon. I mean, this is just hacks everywhere. Hacks everywhere. My loading. I was hoping you would have. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Brock, listen. Brock, look at me. Okay, look at me, Brock. Brock, look at me. It's gonna go for a hydro pump. Start do start dodging now. Or Blizzard. You know, I'm kind of tired of the move Blizzard. I kind of wish it would miss once in a while. I can't lie to you. I kind of wish it would miss once in a while. I want Brock to be able to handle this.
There's no way you're gonna hit another blizzard. Why is that doing more damage over time? Like, I understand. I roll blah, 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 blah. The most well-trained Milotic. You get one more, Brock. I know it's not your fault. Why did I only heal? Why didn't I use a max potion? Because I forgot. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Thunder Punch it up. Let's go. Now you're gonna die. And now, if this thing hits another blizzard and Buttons gets blown away, I'm just going to be angry. It hits another. And Buttons gets... Buttons hangs on. Because... Thank you, Refresh! Gosh darn it, man. This hat is not my favorite. This is probably the last time you'll see this hat. That is not sitting nice with my headphone. Alright. Pokemon Company, this is your uh, weekly request from me to never include Rotom Dex in another game ever again. Just leave out the option. Just leave out the. Leave it out. Leave out the feature completely. We don't need it. We don't need it. Speaking of, the final Z crystal. We found the Iceum Z. Awesome. We have collected all of our... All of the Z crystals. Uh, all of the type Z crystals. We haven't collected all of the... Uh, Signature Z crystals. I have a few of those too. Found a full restore. Found a full restore and no Pokemon. Really, there's only one, I guess. This one right here. Annoying little Golbat. Uh. You know, since we're just chilling, started working on the next layout for the next main series on the channel. Which you should be able to guess what it is if you've been following the channel for a while. I don't want to give it any other hints, um, but our vacation in Alola is almost over. I would. You know, once we finish the Elite Four, we're not done. We're doing all the post-game stuff. Um, I will say that I'm trying to end it by episode 100. I really don't want to do longer than 100 episodes. So we might have the last several episodes be really long. I mean, it's going to give us... We're going to have 20-something episodes to do all the post-game stuff. That should be enough, right? 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 I think it should be. No, that's stupid. Uh, I guess I go here. Or did I just decide that this isn't like as neutral effective? Uh, I'm just trying to take up more. But I see. like that's that's my interpretation of. It. You just want this battle to go for it. Does that raise your defense? We need to talk. Never mind. Didn't even matter. Because Brock does not like... Brock was pissed off about that Milotic. That's what it was. Brock was pissed off about that Milotic. What's next? Is Magius? 
I mean, I got something for you. I don't know if you're going to like it, but I got something for you. I like having a Sneasel on the team. Really cool. We're in Mount Lanakila, and you just used a Growl on me? That's how I feel about your Growl. Take this critical hit. Fool. You fool! Now, is this the last? Nah, we'll let Fruit Punch keep... Fruit Punch is doing his thing. Is this like father and son? We have an ace trainer and a veteran trainer. I think to finish up Mount Lanakila. Master and apprentice. Oh god. Uh Let's just sit back and watch it. Brock avoids. Sneasel gets... I mean, that actually did more than I wanted to because he's going to use Bug Buzz. Probably kill me. Nice poison. Oh, he's going to be dead long before it happens. Wow. Very nice. Very nice job. Mixture of Brock and Fruit Punch. Okay. Steel type. Not a whole lot I can do to you. No, stop. I'm smarter than that. Bug Steel. Bug Steel. This might take it out. Might take it out. Okay. Ah, okay, I thought that was gonna hurt more. Whoa! Calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's going to be okay. You don't have to throw a Tyranitar at me. My goodness gracious. Okay. Got that thing down. Crisco's level 54. I think my I don't think my grinding is gonna take very long at all. Oh. Wait, who's level 52? Buttons is level. Oh yeah, buttons is definitely the better choice here. Then I can hit this thing with two super effective moves. It should be absolutely dead. Oh, I like that. You should have a tire. Okay. It got a crit on me? Of course it did. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It was burned? Oh, 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 by Skull. Oh. At first I was like, I was thinking that was something like, I don't know, Flame or Guts or something. I was like, Tyranitar doesn't get that. Alright. It should, it should be more than enough. Be gone. Probably should have just sent out Oblivion to begin with, but... Is his last Pokemon going to be even better? This would is, this is be wild if it were. 
absolutely wild. Fish shark. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That would have been that would have been really cool. Um, let's go for it. We'll just go for another skull. Aerial Ace. Oh wait, that might hurt. Okay. Gone. All right. I like this. This this whole area. Spot on. Awesome. Awesome. Great job, game. Three. Great job. Great job. Thank you for making it more important. And if it turns out that this was the halfway point, Game Freak, I'll take back every negative thing I said about the game. I'll even start talking to Rotom Dex every other game. Every other minute. We have reached the peak! Who's that thing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's heal first before we do anything else. And then we're going to check to see if there's a rival battle beforehand. Take on that rival battle. Said we'd do it in this episode, so we're going to do it in this episode. Gosh darn it. Pokemon Leagues is the ultimate site to have the ultimate Pokemon battles and decide who is the ultimate Pokemon trainer. Army is a real blah 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 blah. Or me, me, me. <laughs> and this is the lady that we'll talk to to uh, relearn moves. Ah, we built such a wonderful Pokemon League. I'm one of the builders of this Pokemon League. Is it okay to tell you the story rather passionately? When it was decided to build the Pokemon League, we trembled with excitement as we were going to build a big stage for battle in the Alola region for the first time. And we also trembled in awe as we were going to develop the sacred Mount Lanakila. Professor Kukui said that building the League on the sacred ground would show respect to the Tapu because we will dedicate our battles to the Tapu. The professor also said that building the building shouldn't spoil the scenery of Mount Lanakila and asked us to build a Pokemon League that respects tradition and history, but at the same time has the feel of the future, a league that can be built only in Alola. A champion! Whole picture taking too long. I gotta go, Vulpix. Bye. Professor Kukui called everyone up. Everyone who'd ever passed all trials to become an Island Challenge champion and summoned them here. Don't you want to see if you have what it takes to be called a world-class champion? Skilled trainers all over the place in Alola. If you can beat them, then maybe I'll show you my power, my power too. The ones you can battle once you've defeated everyone else in their area. Oh, okay. He's the Kahuna of the Kahunas. Hold on. I don't want to trigger anything. I don't want to trigger anything with Kukui. Hold on. What can we find on Mount Lanakila? Get out of here. I am not taking no picture of a stupid Pokemon like this. I wanted to see Articuno. I'm not going up there. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is totally different, and there's no rival battle for how. So that will do it for our preparations. I'm going to turn around right here, and we're going to call that an episode. I really don't like how it, the final episode of Pokemon League won't land on episode 70. That would have been so perfect. But that will do it for Mount Lanakila. I liked it. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would have been what? Oh, that one really long way I went if it would have had something more than a PP max. And one trainer with a Pokemon that I blew away in one shot, I think. But if you wound up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. You know, I I, I got away from saying it because we changed our little intro and outro, but it really does help so much in us in our goal of becoming the next big thing. And like I say now, the domination of the Pokemon community. 
If you do want to join, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And we'll see you for the next series of episodes where we take on the entire Pokemon League. Until then, have a blessed day.